Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about a minimalist entrance effect in PowerPoint. And it's very modern, very simple, but it has high impact. So let's take a look at this effect. I'm going to fade out to a white screen. I'm going to animate the elements on the screen as they appear. And then I animate as they disappear. Now I have a variation of this. Instead of the title fading in and fading out, I have it flying in and then flying out. But it flies out by fading. So let's take a look at how I did this. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these slides. And we're going to start with the simple one here. Psychology. Now this could be whatever title you want, obviously. The two components that I have on screen right now are a text box and a rectangle that has an outline but no fill. And so I'm going to start by duplicating this slide two times. Now this middle slide, this is the transition slide where the effects are going to transition into the slide and then they'll transition out of the slide. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to go to the first slide and I'm going to change the font so that it's white. And then I'm going to change the font on the third slide so that it's white as well. And I'm making sure that I have the morph transition on each of these. Now I don't need it on the very first slide, so I'll go ahead and put none. On the second and third slide, I want to make sure that I select morph and a duration. I think about a second and a half is fine, but you can play around with that. You can change it to two seconds or one second if you want it faster or slower. And then on the third slide, I have the same settings. I have morph with a duration of 1.5. Now what the morph transition is, is that it takes elements from one slide to another slide that are the same elements, which is why I duplicated the slide, and it animates between one slide and another slide. So let's take a preview of what this looks like. I have the same components on each slide. I have a rectangle, no fill, with an outline, and I have some font. On the first and third slides, that font is white, so I can't really read it. On the second slide, the font is blue. And let's see what that does with the morph transition. Here's my element. Now the font is on there, it's white. I just can't see it because I changed it to the same color as my background. When I go to the next slide, it fades in. When I go to the third slide, it fades out. So now I wanna play with this box. Again, the second slide is where I want it to end up when it animates in. But the first slide, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna manipulate this a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it upside down and I'm holding control on the keyboard, I'm going to stretch this so that it's very small. So now I have a very small rectangle, and I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen. It's, it's behind the text, and the text is white, so you're going to notice some gaps in the box. If I go home, select, and go to the selection pane, I can see here's the text box, here's my rectangle. If I wanted, I could put the rectangle on top of the text box, but I don't really care because what I'm going to do now is go to Format Shape, I have no fill, again, um, but I do have an outline, and I want that outline to be white. Now I'm going to hop over to the third slide. I've got my text here again. I have my rectangle. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit, and I'm going to stretch out this text box so that it's just off screen. And let's preview what we have at this point. So here's my blank slide. Now there are two elements on the slide, but they're white, and the background is white, so I can't see the elements. When I go to the next page, or when I go to the next slide, I can see the animation, and then I can see the animation go to the third slide. Everything fades out, the box gets bigger, and it's off screen. All right, so that's an interesting effect. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this slide, and then I'll duplicate it twice more. So I'm going to have another group, and we're going to try something different. Now, for this one, I'm going to stretch this psychology so that it's off the screen. We're going to have it fly in, if you remember. And I'll go ahead and change the font to white. I think that it'll fade in, and it'll also fly in at the same time. And now this one, I can have the same effect. I'll go ahead, in fact, and copy. I'll find that text box on the screen here, and I will copy it, uh, name it Rectangle 1. All right, so that's going to fly in, and in this case, the words are going to fly in. And then I'll go ahead and do the same thing for here. I'm going to have it not fly completely off screen. I'm just going to have it come down here and fade away. And then this box, if I wanted an effect leaving, now one thing I could try is I'm going to flip that box upside down and off screen. So then the box is going to be doing a lot of flipping. And I'll go ahead and change that to white. Um, not the font, but the fill. I'm going to go to Format Shape, Outline. I'm going to select white. So now it's going to flip. It's going to zoom out, but it's also going to fade away. So let's look at that transition starting from slide four. Here I have a box coming in with the letters fading in. Now they'll fade away and the box flies away. I think that I don't really like that flipping box effect as it's leaving, but that's up to you. It's uh, your decision. So let's look at the whole six slides then. Here's the first transition. 
Everything fades in, fades out, the box expands. So play around with this interaction, be creative, and have fun with it.